Yeah! I fucking love Godzilla, guys. So, this is my freaking Godzilla review. Uh, so, I hope you can uh, take my opinion without flipping out on me if you're a super mega fan like I am of Godzilla. Right, Godzilla? Are you excited? Are you excited? A happy moment. right now when a huge massive epic monster battle is taking place just off screen where you cannot see it I am bringing this news to you live breaking into your coverage and telling you about the really awesome monster battle that's just off screen that you cannot see and we are not showing you right now Oh my god, that is so awesome! I am so happy to bring you this special report to where you cannot see the massive, awesome monster battle! Back to you, Brian! The f is that? That movie did a lot to piss me off. The kid in me is disappointed. You see, it teases you the whole way and has little payoff at the end. Also, Brian Cranston is barely in it. Listen, if you're gonna get Brian Cranston and show him off a ton in the trailers, then use Brian Cranston! His parts were easily the best acted in the damn film. You're lying. Because what's really happening is that you're hiding something out there. I'm right, aren't I? My wife died here! Something killed my wife! And I have a right to know! I deserve answers! And he's hot right now from Breaking Bad, not Aaron Johnson. It's as if the producer, director, and writers got together and said, you know what the best parts of the Godzilla films are? The parts with the human soldiers. But when your monsters are more interesting and show more character depth than your human leads, then you know something's wrong, especially when you want to place more emphasis on the humans rather than Godzilla himself. <laughs> Audiences and kaiju fans were fresh off Pacific Rim, where the fights were cool as hell and they were center stage, where they embraced having fun with it. And damn it, it's okay to have a little fun with Godzilla too. Trust me, he's a fun dude when you get to know him. How do you know? Yeah, no. Godzilla! Oh, there he goes! Still is actually pretty cool. Except when he's hungry. The story boils down to new kaiju hatching from underground eggs to sow destruction in Japan, which causes Godzilla to intervene and lay the smack down because. Well, because he's a badass and he wants everyone to know it. Alpha Monster. Oh yeah. His motivation set up is, is purely him hunting. And while the military, they come up with this half brain plan to try to kill all three with nukes that these monsters love to find and eat on sight. Genius. 
But what's unforgivable is that they keep cutting away from the Godzilla fights once they get underway just to go back to the freaking Taylor Johnson subplot. Stop it! In all of our favorite blockbuster movies, you care about the characters. The ones that, are, that, you, that you really want to watch are the ones that have that, the, the story of the people. The movie goes to great lengths to keep us on forward when every single character in the damn movie is more interesting. Especially the namesake of the film, this little dude called Godzilla! Who has been relegated to a supporting character for more than an hour and plays second fiddle to this Aaron Taylor Johnson vehicle film. My fault. My fault. Didn't realize that. It was his film, not Godzilla's. It's like the movie was actually annoyed with itself that it had to cut back to Godzilla from time to time. Oh, you want to see more fighting? Ah, uh, fine. But I've got this way more interesting storyline about how one soldier is apparently the only bomb disposal expert in the whole damn army, and apparently he's the only one who knows how to operate the damn thing. The unit assigned to protect the nuke knows nothing about the nuke. When was the last time you let one of your guys put their fingers on a live bomb? Look, this is what I do. This is my job. Master Sergeant. My family's in the city. Okay, I need to get on that train. And that's what gives Aaron his excuse to be there so that he could take up all of the time in this movie and we can cut away to him over and over and over. From the look of the case he's on those Minutemen ICBMs, I'm guessing the digital module's been bypassed and you're prepping for full analog retrofit. Is my jaw supposed to drop? And before you say, I know what you're saying, that they're trying to recreate the original, uh, the traditional story of Godzilla's destruction and, and the effects of it, that's fine, I understand that. Uh, back then, it was never done to the effect that when the original came out. But since then, it's been done to death and far better, with much better actors, with greater range than this. Now, granted, the script barely gives them anything to work with. Hopefully, both of these actors who play uh, brother and sister in the upcoming Age of Ultron as, as Scarlet Witch and, and Quicksilver have a lot more in them than what's seen here, okay? If they had allowed Brian to team up with Ken, he's this great actor. He played the Japanese scientist who, it was his opinion, to allow Godzilla to, uh, you know, restore balance and, and to let him fight it out with the monsters rather than use nuclear weapons. Uh, which these monsters crave anyway. Um, and if they would have played off that and had uh, Brian team up with that guy and give little interesting bits of exposition or, or information or bios on the creatures that Godzilla's fighting and Godzilla himself and how the military can help, that would have been a much more interesting story. Instead, we don't get that. We get kick-ass running around with an M4 rifle with a bunch of soldiers who get their asses kicked constantly, who are dull, boring, and, and whose purpose it seems to be simply not showing the monster because it would cost more money. No, I mean, they have the assets there. It's... But like I said, overall, it's it's not a bad film. It, it just, all of that stuff holds it back from being a better film. And we could have gotten one really awesome. One that's better than Pacific Rim. One that I can highly recommend everybody to go out and see. But like I said, it's tough for me to tell you not to go see it. Because I do want to see another one. This one does set up a sequel perfectly, and at least it doesn't beat us over the head with, you know, like a political message or something like Robocop did, which was annoying as fuck. 
you know, this one, it, it picks up in the final bout and the first 30 minutes of the movie were, were interesting and Godzilla himself is Godzilla. This is the real Godzilla. And maybe in the sequel, we'll see a leaner, uh, meaner uh, Godzilla and, and fighting some more interesting characters. At least I hope so. So while I'm not going to encourage you not to see it, um, you know, if you're a Godzilla fan, you will have already seen it. And if you want to see another one, then you'll probably go out and support it. Uh, but my final verdict for Godzilla was a, a tiny bit of disappointment. Uh, but there was there was some good bits there. It's it's better than half of the Godzilla movies that we've seen. It's definitely better than all the American Godzilla movies, especially that poor excuse for one in 1998, which is a funny story. Toho actually got the rights back to that Godzilla and said, that's not Godzilla. They just said, that Godzilla is not Godzilla. They renamed him to just Zilla. And, and just to prove that point, in Godzilla Final Wars, which was the last Japanese movie, uh, Japanese-led movie made over there about Godzilla, him and Godzilla fight. And they have a showdown, and it is awesome. And you see exactly what the Japanese think of his American counterpart there. Knew that tuna head wasn't up to much. Next. Yeah, he gets his fucking ass kicked. And that's the real Godzilla. And so this Godzilla has a lot of potential, a lot of opportunity, and I hope that it makes enough money so that they're able to make it to, into a franchise and to show these people, stop hiding Godzilla. Stop using these directors with the, oh, he's just out of visual. The movie is firing on all cylinders when it's Godzilla right there. Yeah, full display. This is me, motherfuckers. I'm the king of monsters. Let's do this shit. Just do, show us that. Stop trying to remake Cloverfield or Cloverfield 2. Let's fucking make destroy all monsters where it's just a fucking battle royale, okay? And everybody can pick their favorite, all right? All right, so until then, I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. Oh, shit! Godzilla! Godzilla, no!